Hey guys, I'm Lee Labrada with Labrada Nutrition. As some of you may already know, I am a past Mr. Olympia competitor, having placed in the top four for seven consecutive years and an IFBB Pro Bodybuilding Hall of Famer. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is about vascularity. So what is vascularity? Vascularity is a condition where a competitive bodybuilder has clearly visible veins just lying beneath the surface, which adds a lot of significant detail to the physique. Now, an advanced mature bodybuilder develops this over time as muscle maturity occurs. So one of the things that I wanna to mention to you is that genetics, unfortunately does play a role. Some people are just a little bit more vascular than others, but there are strategies to enhance vascularity that are within your control. One that comes to mind right away is training style. I think that training style is crucial. You have to train heavy and intensely. That's because when you train heavy, and intensely the muscles strain. Blood pressure goes up and it causes the veins and arteries to dilate and enlarge, which makes them more pronounced, hence vascularity, right? So low reps, heavy weights, and then one of the things that I like to do is I like to follow the heavy training with a set of high repetitions. So just to give you an example, after, a, after doing heavy curls for my biceps, for instance, I'll switch over to a lighter weight and I'll do higher repetitions, say 15 to 20, to flush the blood through the muscle and enhance the vascularity and really blow it out. After the workout, here's something you might try. Isometric contractions, which is basically saying, pushing the muscle under tension against an immovable resistance. So here's an example. This is an isometric contraction because what I'm doing is I am tensing the bicep, I'm trying to complete a curl, but I'm pushing down and I'm just holding it in a stationary position, locking the arm and straining. Competitive bodybuilders often do this instinctively because they'll pose sometimes in the gym uh, after the workout or even in between sets and that kind of thing. Now, let's talk a little bit about what we can do in terms of what we do in the diet and supplements we take and that type of a thing. If you utilize a pre-workout nitric oxide product, that's a good thing. Using one before the workout can significantly enhance your vascularity. Products like the Pro Series Pump increase blood flow into the area and engorges the arteries and veins with blood, which not only makes makes them more pronounced during the workout, but also over time helps to dilate them. Let's talk about diet. So consuming six small meals per day that are high in protein, low to medium, and complex carbohydrate and low in fat is an approach which I use in order to get lean and thereby make my vascularity more visible. This type of diet for me has helped me to burn fat, it helps to avoid bloating, and it enhances the vascularity. Avoiding junk food and excessive fats and sugars is also key to maintaining a vascular appearance because at the end of the day, vascularity is uh, a critical aspect for a bodybuilder's physique. So if that is something that is desirable to you, you can achieve this through a proper combination of training, nutrition, and supplementation. By following these guidelines, you can enhance your vascularity and achieve a more defined and aesthetic physique. All right, you guys, help us to grow by sharing this video with just one other person. Would you do it now? And be sure to hit the subscribe button and leave your comments and feedback below. I'm Lee Labrada for Labrada Nutrition, the most trusted name in sports nutrition.